All right, so we got the three tax brackets. Who's the highest? W what? Two. Two. Middle. Ten ninety nine. Lowest. Investors. Investors. That's called capital gains or appreciation. Anytime something appreciate when money works, it don't get taxed as much. I'll tell you why real quick. If you know your history, America broke away in a revolutionary war from this country called what? Britain. Everybody with me? Take you back. Now in Britain, do y'all know why us revolutionaries got upset? Taxes. <laughs> and this money. We got mad at the Britain's tax game. So some brave people said we're gonna go over here and discover America, even though it had occupants on it. But that's another story. So <laughs> that's nothing, that's nothing. If you know your history, we're gonna discover America. Okay. So they broke away. But they brought the same problem. Taxes. So some people dumped some tea into the Boston, into the water, and revolted. Am I right? Now, in Europe, either you were a lord or you were a servant. That means you either had land or you what? Didn't. So lords didn't pay how what? Guess who did? Servants. In America, even though we got mad at them, we brought the same attitude. Either you got a business or you what? Don't. So we still, believe it or not, even though we broke away, we still answer to Britain. So we brought the same attitude. The business owner not going to pay high taxes. The employee does. So you need to be the person that don't pay the high taxes. Why would the government do that? It's simple. They want the business owner to get a break because he the one providing all the what? Yeah. Jobs. So you can't be both. I mean, I'm sorry. You can be both. You can't, both can't benefit. One of them got a benefit, and they're giving the benefit to the one that owns the what? The business. So let me ask you a question. Why don't you have one? See? You know why? Because they don't teach you that till it's too late. Now you beat up. You got four kids, two kids. You're married. You've been divorced once. You're like, man, I got time no business. They should have told you that when you was young and vibrant. See, if, if you went into college... And they taught business 101, who would take that course? Yep. But we take business administration from a professor who nine times out of 10 don't have one. <laughs> See, people don't like when I do when I try. <laughs> <laughs> Just telling you the truth. Most professors don't have one. <laughs> I'm not knocking professors. I'm not, I love education. But I'm just saying, most of the times, your finance professor, he's struggling. My finance professor had tape on his window. I'm not knocking him. I love him. But I used to go outside at 19. It just set an example for me. Every day he had to close. To -tum, just to -tum, to -tum. Can't even close. To -tum. I'm like, Mr. Hey, it's going to be all right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We're going to learn the bell curve tomorrow. Supply and demand. To -tum. <laughs> can't even close the door. True story. I'm like, see, people don't understand. I watch everything. I'm like, this is crazy, and I'm following you. You're, fine. You're my finance professor. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I digress. <laughs>